our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. Ah! No! Sweet liberty! No! My father, bless his soul, is a small business owner, and he has this saying that always confused me growing up, which was, if you're not careful, you can grow yourself out of business. Can you cook grenades? Can you cook grenades? What do you cook grenades? There is no way we're extracting right now. That made no sense to me as a kid. I thought more customers was the whole point. How is that a bad thing? But it makes sense if you think about it, and Helldivers 2 is currently putting on the grandest display of this concept. Let me in. Let me in. Now, before I commit classic YouTube hyperbole, I should be clear, I don't think they'll go out of business, but Helldivers 2 is currently unplayable at the time of recording this. Guys click on the just... screen occasionally? Yeah, I'll click on the screen. Give Man, a we're desperate. Check. Which I can deal with, annoying as it is, but this is the internet, so some people are refunding the game and never touching it again, and most importantly, their Discord server has imploded. And this time, it features all new rendering, lighting. So what happened? Well, and you probably already know this, Helldivers 2 had these absolutely genius trailers. Spread manage democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. They are amazing. I know they're parodies of Cold War propaganda, jingoism, chauvinism, objectively bad things, but I kind of love them unironically. Dying on a foreign planet killing godless aliens is the American dream. Righteous, pro-human, pro-democracy, pro-freedom, rock and roll- <laughs> Anyways, the trailers went viral, and so a lot of people wanted to get this game who were brand new to Helldivers, myself included. All in all, about 2 million people have been trying to get on for the past few nights, and according to some internet sources, so probably not true at all, but apparently they only had enough server space for 800,000 concurrent players, some say 300,000, which are both reasonable server sizes until you make some of the best trailers ever made and two million red-blooded Americans want to spread managed democracy together. Guys, I was doing some research last night. I, you know, after we played Hell at least, I looked up World War II and it was real. So this brings us to the best part of the story and the whole reason I'm going on this long rant. It's such a shame that it's so impossible to get on because this is really good. Thanks. Just, I'm, I'm sorry, Corey. <laughs> On either the first or second night after the servers had filled up, apparently someone had the incredible idea to put an F in the official Helldivers 2 Discord general chat. So some people recognized the meme and wanted to join in. Only problem, the Helldivers 2 Discord had 30,000 members at the time. Look at all that democracy down there. So rather quickly, general chat became F chat, but that's not a huge deal. One channel, that's nothing. And regular members can't ping everyone in big servers like that, so it's not like the whole server can get on and spam F at the same time. This is, without question, the worst thing to do in this situation. The entire server was suddenly very respectful. Enough respects were being paid to fill the Pacific Ocean. I don't think it's working. It's definitely not working. And after attempting to ban 10,000 people, which the server members knew would not be possible, eventually the mods had to shut down the entire server. <laughs> I think I find this story so amusing because we have our own Discord server of a similar size. Stop, this is not an ad to join the Discord. I don't know why YouTubers have Discord servers. It's very weird. So I can easily picture our mods being put in their mods place. Arguably, I've put them in their place many times before. There's a lot of dead civilians over here, Mike. Like a concerning oh, amount. Gosh. It might have been all of them. But I can accept that when I say at everyone balls, the server is gonna be unusable for a little bit. And that's fine, you gotta let them have their fun. They outnumber you 10,000 to 1, depending on how many mods you have. And they'll get bored eventually. Oh, I threw a grenade. Okay. I don't know, but I think the reason I'm not more angry about the whole server capacity situation is the fact that it makes the game feel even more community focused than it already is. It was really frustrating at the start when I was in your position an hour ago, but now I'm having a lot of fun. The idea that makes Helldivers so much fun is galactic contention, but with real people. Wait, is that yeah, 113,000 people currently playing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all those planets. If you click in, click on that sector. What? You can see they got it. We got to defend this planet here that's under attack. There's 112,000 people doing this right now? On this one planet, yeah. 
That is insane. I woke up on Monday and within two hours of being awake and making breakfast, I had already seen eight memes about Malevolon Creek, which was where the heaviest fighting was taking place. And the fact that I can say that sentence and it makes sense is such a cool concept for a video game. Uh, you all should back oh up Oh my now. god, we're about to erase this place off the map. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, How many did we call it? By the time you watch this, there's a new planet or a new system where democracy is being spread. So on top of that, seeing all of the memes of everyone waiting an hour to get on kind of adds to the community aspect too. It all feels very genuine. Sad, are you stuck? Sad? Yeah, I'm a little stuck. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> How did that get my... He was three feet in front of me. But obviously the gameplay too is just very crispy. From the perspective of someone who has never heard of Helldivers before and doesn't like third person shooters, this game is great. To be able to feel in control and tactical and nimble in third person is really hard for me. I'm just waiting for him to press alt and dive on top of the... Oof. There it goes. I mean, it says a lot that even with the absolute diaper hurricane that is this server situation, the game is still receiving pretty much endless praise. Look at this. This is this awesome. Like Star Wars. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Wow. Can't wait to liberate it. It does everything else right, down to the tiniest details like boot prints, walking through foliage, map destruction. Very it looks voice. like the surface of the moon up here. Yeah. Have you seen yeah, we this? Really called in hell on this place. It's gone. <laughs> it's just all gone. I didn't know third person games could look this detailed. Plus, you can technically go into first person too. I don't know why I'm so hung up on the camera perspective, but as someone who routinely plays video games where the screen is your eyeballs, it's a big jump. Founding well, we father of the stars. <laughs> Helldivers is just irresistibly, unapologetically, campy, and epic. It's hell yeah distilled into its finest essence. They can't hide in the trees if there's no trees. Anyways, that's all I did this week, was play Helldivers and wait to play Helldivers. I am not dead. Just because YouTube's robot abandons me doesn't mean there isn't a new video on here every Saturday at the same time. Why do bots get to run our lives? What, what was that? Did we even do one objective? I'm so done with these robots. If this game has taught me anything, it's to spill oil. This game is unlocking an anti-robot switch in my brain that I really like leaning into. An abomination constructed by abominations with abominable intent. Anyways, whoever you are out there, I hope you got something out of this, and I hope something good happens to you today. Like this video if you want to, but love yourself no matter how many nukes you drop on your friends. And should you decide to honor me with the privilege of your time again, then I will see you. Ah, dang it. In the Atomic Mirror Brain section, I forgot again. It's a hobby. It's fast. Ninja. G. VR Central. Smoothbrains.party enter to win Habby PC. I don't I don't understand this at all. Is that a website? And Argentina talk for and sign. Stop it. Get some help. Goodbye.